Well, hello and welcome back to Come Geeksome. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is here. We have the plaintiff's petition for Vic, which has been filed in county court. So, there is quite a few pages here. There's actually 27 pages. So, what I was thinking of doing is we'll go through half of it now, and we'll come back and do another half later on. So, we're going to get straight into it. Straight away, you got cause number... Victor is the plaintiff versus Funimation, Jamie Marshy, Monica Real, and Ronald Toyer, the other defendants. It goes on, you know, plaintiff's original petition to honourable judge of said court. Plaintiff Victor complains of defendants Funimation, Jamie Marshy, Monica Real, and Ronald Toy. And for such purposes, would show, I'll have to go through all this then. Um... We will be skipping over a few things, because there is a couple of uh, things we don't really need to talk about. But the one that I like straight away is when we get into this one here. The jurisdiction and the venue. So, the subject matter in controversy is within the jurisdictional limits of this court. Plaintiff seeks monetary relief over $1 million. That's, that's a lot of change. It goes on, obviously, he says uh, the court has jurisdiction over the three people because they are residents of Texas. But then, the facts. These are the ones that I think are really, really juicy. These are brilliant. So, Vic is a voice actor who has performed the voices of animated characters for over 22 years, mainly in anime productions. Vic does not physically appear in these productions, only his voice is used for the English dubbing, or revoicing of the Japanese voice actors. Monica and Jamie also are voice actors. Both have worked for Funimation. Ronald is Monica's fiancé and either a Funimation agent or employee. So with all of that, obviously we've seen previous posts where Ron has actually said he doesn't work for Funimation whatsoever. But as this is a legal court document, I think it's safe to say that he actually lied on that one there, so he does work for Funimation of some sort. So that'll be interesting to see how that comes along. But then, it goes in, Funimation primarily dubs Japanese anime properties into English for distribution within the States and provides streaming access subscription services to those properties via their website. June 2017, Funimation contracted with Vic to provide the voice for dubbed anime properties, which was going to be distributed within the US. So it goes on to say, obviously, 2018, he was cast of Broly, and the cast also included Monica. Dragon Ball Super Broly was released in the US on January 16th, 2019, and was an instant financial success for Funimation, earning $7 million on his first day, and $24 million within the first five days of his release. In addition to his voice work, Vic attends fan conventions approximately 30 to 40, sorry, 35 to 40 per year. He earns a sizable income from appearance fees, guaranteed by contract with the convention producers, and from signing the autographs, taking photos of fans, and appearing on guest panels. By January 16th, 2019, he had already had accepted invitations with dozens of conventions for appearances in 2019. Here we go, people. This is when it gets juicy. On January 16th, 2019, the day Dragon Ball Super Broly was released in the US, Monica liked and retweeted the tweet of someone with a Twitter handle, Han Leia. That accused Vic of being a homophobic, rude asshole who has been creepy to underage female fans for over 10 years. And obviously this is going now, obviously after the photos of Vic and Monica at the premiere of Dragon Ball. And you know, they're arm in arm, you know, they're hugging, they're very close friends. That's what it looks like. Some of the photos actually make them look like a couple. So, it goes on. So... We are obviously then the day after that one. The next day, Monica liked and retweeted two tweets by Kaylin Sakudo. I think I said, say, if I'm saying her name wrong, I do apologise. But her name is Mars Girl. That accused Vic of great volumes of sexual misconduct, urged Funimation to reconsider hiring him as a voice actor in the future, and she's the one who initiated the hashtag 
kick Vic. The repeated attention that Monica and Jamie and even Funimation agents, employees or business partners gave Han Leia's and Mars Girl's accusation caused their tweets to go viral. And at the same time, one or more defendants began actively defaming Vic directly to anime conventions, speaking of investigations and Vic being fired. Barely a week later, Tammy Denbo, a Sony executive, informed Vic she was investigating three allegations of sexual harassment against him. So this is where we came in now with the ones we spoke about the other day. So you got one moniker alleged to have occurred six years prior at the convention, which is the Jelly Bean story, which we all know and love. And <laughs> so we'll just go through that again. When after she wrote her name on a jelly bean and gave it to him, Vic ate the jelly bean and joked that he ate a moniker. Vic denied any sexual suggestion. He was joking in response to her fans asking if he could be poisoned by the ink. Another alleged inappropriate conduct between Vic and two fans, not Funimation or Sony employees, at a convention three years prior, again, not a Funimation or Sony facility or event, Vic empathetically denied any inappropriate conduct. The third allegation involved a single consensual kiss between Vic and a Funimation employee who was Vic's friend. So, then Denbaugh's telling Vic that her investigation was a confidential matter, did not stop Jamie, Monica, Ronald or other Funimation employees or business partners from urging anime conventions and other studios to terminate their contracts with Vic, telling some that Funimation was conducting an investigation into allegations that Vic was a sexual predator, or that charges were being filed against Vic and he would soon be arrested, or tweeting details about the investigation. For example, Ronald would tweet on the February 2nd, 2019 that Vic is a predator, based on his insider knowledge about Sony's investigation. So we've got, got a few more here now. The fallout from the defendant's actions were swift. On January 18, 2019, the Phoenix Fan Fusion Convention Court cancelled Vic's appearance. A few days later, on January 26, Ronald tweeted that Vic was a predator, a charge Ronald would repeat in at least 15 more tweets. Shortly after, the Ranger Stop Convention cancelled Vic's appearance as well. January 29th, Denbow and another Sony executive informed Vic that his employment with Funimation was terminated following Denbow's investigation. January 30th, both the Anime NYC and the Anime Milwaukee conventions both cancelled his appearances. Then is this where we're going on now? We're well, obviously mostly Ron, because if you look, it's just going to be Ron, I think, most of the time now. Ronald claimed to know of at least four assaults by Vic and crowed, I'm glad to see conventions cancelled. That day, Kawaya Khan cancelled Vic's appearance. February 1st, Ronald tweeted this personally knew that Vic was guilty of at least four accounts. That day, the Kamea Khan Dallas convention cancelled his appearance. However, we all know, which is good now, is that Vic actually went back there and he had a brilliant time over the weekend. February 2nd, Ronald tweeted that Vic needed to prove himself not to be a predator. The next day, Ancient City Con cancelled Vic's appearance. Wow, this is just literally on page 6 and there's just so much going. February 4th, 2019, Ronald tweeted multiple times that Vic was a predator, called Vic a perp and asserted that at over 100 accounts and still more to come. That day, Denver Comic Con cancelled Vic. Then obviously we got Ron Toy's uh, little tweet. He is down because he took advantage of girls, buddy. How about get a grip on reality and stop harassing people? Over 100 accounts and still more to come. And you defend this sack of shit? Get a life. February 5th, 2019. Funimation informed Anime News Network that Vic's employment had been terminated. And Ron again tweeted his accusation that Vic is a predator. Over the next 24 hours, Florida, Raleigh, Kamehacon and Hudson Valley Comic Con all cancelled Vic's appearances. Man, it just goes to show how much shit that they've all done to him. February 6th, see, we're only on February 6th. <laughs> Ronald tweeted that over 100 women had made accusations of assault. The allegations against Vic were corroborated that there were mountains of testimony and that Funimation have proof. That's why they fired him. Monica, Ronald's fiance, also tweeted on February 6th that it happened to me and that I'm only one voice in a sea of many. He's hurt enough people, he's a sick man who needs help. 
Later that day, Jamie attempted to rebuff those questions, the veracity of Monica's post on Twitter. And this is where it gets juicy now of what's happened. So we're only going to go to this page and then we're going to stop then, people, because we, you know, it's going into 10 minutes now. Yes, I wanted his head. I want his balls. I want him to feel an ounce of the pain he's caused others and then fucking choke on it. I want you to take his dick out of your ears so you can actually hear reality. But you know, that's just me. And what about innocent until proven guilty? Worked in a court of law. Sometimes name and shame is the fastest way to the courtroom. Well, that's very, very true now for you, Jamie, because this is where you're going. Two days later, Jamie tweeted that Vic had assaulted her several years prior by grabbing her hair and whispering in her ear. What he whispered she couldn't remember. That in the last week or so, I've heard accounts from doing the exact thing to half a dozen other women that I personally know, and that Vic is a predator. On February 11th, Funimation made its investigation public via Twitter, declaring it determined Vic has engaged in harassment or threatening behaviour. Monica responded there were multiple investigations with testimony, proof and evidence. But obviously above we have found out what those actual investigations were and it's just no such thing. So and obviously this is the uh, tweets that we've seen so far. But this is just absolutely mind-blowing of, how they, of what Monica and everyone thinks that they've done is. Yeah, look what we've done. This is it now. But... Vic's suing him for over a million dollars. You know, he's taking Ewan's compensation and I think he'll get it. If these people cannot uh, show any evidence or anything, then I think that's it for him now. It's, he's taken him to court, he's filed the court the papers and that's it. So, we're going to come back to this a little later on. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates and I'll see you soon.